Hi, my name is Sonia and welcome to my channel. Okay, so a lot, a lot, a lot of shifts happening. This is my, my quantum healing hypnosis uh, update. And there is just a general theme going on across the globe with it, you know, light workers. It seems light workers in general. I don't, you know, honestly, I don't really know if I'm talking to regular humans. <laughs> I might be from time to time. Um, yeah, I probably am. I'm aware of some of this, the, the regular humans. And when I say by humans, and, and I'm laughing about that because I'm very galactic. <laughs> I think that's pretty clear by now. And, and, uh, I can always tell souls that um, have really, they, you know, they were born, they, they had their first lives on here on Earth, Mother Earth, Gaia, and this is what they know, and, and that's great. I am, I am, uh, I'm very galactic in the, in the human body, and... I come from another star system, I come from another planet, and I remembered this from the time I was born into this body. And I know the name of my planet, I have had my own quantum healing hypnosis sessions, I've had a couple of QHHT, Dolores Cannon's method, and then I've had uh, a couple of beyond quantum healing sessions, which is what Candace Craw Goldman created. And I, I practice both, although I would classify my sessions more as BQH, Beyond Quantum Healing. And that is the site that I belong to as well, um, Quantum Healers. I'll put that link in the description box below for Candace Craw Goldman's um, website that I'm on. So that uh, if you are looking for a quantum hypnosis healer in your area or and, it, and it's not just quantum healers on there it's it's we do a lot I mean you know I practice Reiki and I'm on there there are a lot of Reiki practitioners there there are psychics on there psychic mediums um oh man there's people who do angel readings and tarot readings and astrologers numerologists I mean there's a wide variety whatever you're looking for in the in the spiritual healing arts you will find on Quantum Healers. So I'll put that link down below so that you can check it out. Um, so tremendous amount of upgrades going on around the globe, as I was saying. Um, what are upgrades? Upgrades sometimes have flu-like symptoms. And so the flu is an acronym for frequency F, light, L, upgrade, U. And what that means is that your cells are changing from carbon-based, which degenerate, they age, they lose their light, and the sacred geometrical structure of the cell will break down and it will lose its life force and it will start to compost. <laughs> I like that term, you know, it's, it'll, it'll compost, it'll, it'll decompose. And um, then the body, the body composts. I mean, it, it is, it, you know, it, it doesn't sound maybe very good. I think it's funny, but that's really what it does is it, it ages, it dies. It, the body slowly starts to move back down into soil and it loses its, its um, electricity, its life force, its light, and it loses its water as well. And then from carbon-based, the cells are turning into crystalline-based, and crystalline cells regenerate. They hold their sacred geometrical shape, and they those those sacred geometrical angles, those little crystals, they hold light. Just like what I got. What have I got over here? Um, you know what? Here, I'll take this. What I was gonna say. I'll get my citrine out. This is my necklace from my friend Dana Schaefer in, in Cusco. This is her, her necklace that she makes. And let's see if I can get some light into it. So this is a citrine. Or I was gonna take my John of God rose quartz that I got in Brazil when I worked with John of God. So this will hold fractals of light. This is a crystal, it's crystalline. Your cells are doing the same thing. They're turning into crystalline. 
and they regenerate. And so our bodies are going through a tremendous shift. Um, I mean, like tons of ascension symptoms. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do in the description box below? I'm gonna put a general, because it's just too many for just this little description box below. I'm gonna put a general list of ascension symptoms so that you can see and you know for those of you that surf the web all web all the time you're gonna know what they are a lot of people don't know what what they're experiencing you know their ascension symptoms so that's going on people are vomiting they want to fast it's so important if you're not feeling well please go to bed please sleep the, the clients have been coming to me going, I have no energy, don't want to eat, but of course I think I should eat because of course we're programmed to eat. And you don't need to eat if you're not hungry. Don't eat if you're not hungry. I want to say that again. Don't eat if you're not hungry because your body is healing. And it takes anywhere, you know, the percentage, I'm not quite sure if science knows what the percentage is of this. It said 25 to 35% it takes the body to digest. 25% um, energy or 35% energy for the body to digest. I'm not sure if that percentage is correct since I don't trust science. <laughs> I question everything. That's a good thing. Um, but if you're upgrading, go to bed, sleep. You know, I did an entire QHH vlog out in the woods, out in my favorite place here in Portland, Oregon on sleep and I think that might have been a month ago already and um, it's so important that you sleep I a couple weekends ago during that super lunar eclipse super moon I slept for two days I had the longest dry fast that I've ever had I am going to do a separate video just on fasting and um, because I have been fasting for probably 30 years and I am a cleanse counselor I guide people on fasts I was trained and certified many, many years ago, and I've been practicing fasting myself, and I have led groups, couples, families, individuals on fasts for many, many years. It's, it's actually really, really easy. So that's what's, that's what's going on. People are coming to me with all kinds of ascension symptoms, and they're upgrading, and they have no energy, and, and you know the colon's flushing out, and a lot of nausea. I experienced nausea a couple weekends ago when I was just had to go to bed. Um, honor that. Here's something else that I want to put out there, and this came through with several higher selves of the clients, and this also comes through for me all the time in my meditation. It is so important that you listen to your feelings and not your mind. Yeah. Listen to your feelings and not your mind. Honor your heart. I've been sharing that with so many people, including probably the last 10 yoga classes that I taught in the last six days. Listen to your feelings. If it doesn't feel good for you, why would you stick with it or that person or that job? I know we all got to pay our bills. I got to pay my bills too. You know, this is, this is something that contributes to that. Um, but if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. It's something that I have, I probably have two things left in my life that don't feel so good to me that I am shifting out of. We were taught not to feel good. It, it's a habit. Here's another thing that has been coming up. The patriarchy, the patriarchy, the system, the church, politics, that is the patriarchy, a low vibrational masculine fear-based energy a low vibrational fear-based masculine energy. It doesn't feel good. That's the system that most of us live in. That's what we're programmed to do. Now, it wouldn't exist if people didn't habitually practice it on a daily basis and if people didn't have their belief systems programmed, dialed into, I have to survive. I get sick, getting sick is normal. I have to go to the medical establishment in order to find out what's wrong with me and I have to go to the medical establishment in order to heal. You all know that doesn't heal you. I'm supposed to eat this. I'm supposed to eat this. 
<laughs> not your head. It's in your mind. <laughs> I'm like watching myself do this and going, they're going to think that they're supposed to eat your head. No, <laughs> I'm supposed to eat this. That's a thought. That's a concept. I have to have this job because I'm surviving. I have to do this because I'm surviving. Life is hard. Life is challenging. That is patriarchy. Who my clear audience just like freaked out on this. Yeah, this is loud, folks. This is really loud. This is, it's, it has to be said. As the patriarchy is crumbling, and it is, it's crumbling, it's folding. As it is folding, it is going to grip for dear life as it's sinking into the oceanic abyss of Mother Earth, Gaia, <laughs> as she's swallowing that poor little sap up. And she's going, if you would just let go, you'll realize that we're really one after all. And I'm just going to take you right back into me. And you're going to become all of the wonderful molecules that we are and all the oneness and light that we are. But no, it's gripping for a little rafter. It's gripping for buoys, which are our minds. It's gripping. and It's playing out. It's playing out its intense state of contrast with anyone, which is most humans on the planet, anyone that it can continue to control. It's what it thinks of as its little minions. It is a, a separate consciousness. It separated itself from source energy, light, is this oneness, universe, whatever your name is for it. And it is gripping and it is so loud for so many. And so many are coming to me, not just not just quantum hypnosis clients, but yoga students and my, my Sonia's Life coaching group. And I'll talk about that in just a second. And it is just like people's old fear-based habits are coming up and pelting them in the face. And they're going, I don't like this anymore. I got more people who are coming to me going, like my, the awful yuck stuff in my life is so loud. I want out. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to play that out anymore. The last three clients were like, I, I notice my old behavior and, and I don't want to behave this way anymore. Like half of the students of all my classes come up to me and we have these conversations after class or before class. I don't want, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to, I don't want that job anymore. It doesn't feel good. She or he is driving me nuts. I don't want to be in this anymore. I don't want to be in this relationship, but I don't want to hurt them, but I, it's not serving me. That, that is across the board the most common conversation that I have with most people. This is, this is when I'm like, I'm so happy that I'm with myself. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be really, really in love with yourself and just be really joyous and, and just like, you know, my time is so precious. And then my time with my kids is so precious. And then my time with my friends and colleagues is so precious. I love my friends and colleagues. I love my kids. I love me. And my, my time with my students is so precious because I just have such great self time. This is what I'm sharing with everybody. Have wonderful, beautiful, amazing time with yourself. Have the best sex with yourself. If you're not having sex with yourself, If you are not taking yourself out for a date, at least once a week, a date. This, I've been giving this advice, how long? Probably for 15, 16 years, because I started dating myself about 15, 16 years ago, because I'm like, you know, I just want him, I just want him to do this with me, but he won't. And then my higher self came in and my guys, and they're like, well, why don't you just take yourself out to all the places you want to go? Do it with you. Go to all the places you want to go. And I love living outside. And I love really good tea. And I love juices. And I love salt baths. And I love sunbathing. And I was like, well, let's just do something like that every week. So I started to. And it is, for me, it's a daily ritual. I have to take myself out for a date once a day. And I love it. It's my self-love time. Please do that. Please take yourself out for a date at least once a week. You know, it's me time or, you know, it's Sonia's date <laughs> afternoon. I, I'm not into it at night because I'm tired at night. But during the afternoon, oh, especially when the sun is out, <gasps> sun, 
I love it. And then you, then you can have so much fun. Like, I have such a blast with myself. I'm really freaking funny. <laughs> I make myself laugh all the time. And then I'm like, God, I'm having so much fun. This is great. Why didn't I do this my whole life? Don't wait your whole life. Do it now. So this is the stuff I'm sharing with pretty much everyone. Feel good. And, and the feel good thing is all law of attraction. Law of attraction has been around forever because law of attraction is what is. So feel good, 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 feel good. Why would you not feel good? Because you have the habit of not feeling good because you were taught by the patriarchy not to have, not to feel good, not to have fun. So shift it, shift it. And you can because there is a myriad of plethora. There we go. Because it's unlimited. There's a plethora of different perceptions about one subject. There is. If you are, if you've, if you've been sitting on the south side of the tree, looking at it going, it's just not fulfilling for me. I'm really bored with this. This is just not working for me. Try the north side of the tree. See what that looks like and feels like. And if you don't like that, try the east side of the tree. You know, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. Feel good. When you feel good, it opens up all these different perceptions for you. And then these wonderful things that you want will come in. The abundance is right there for you. All of these wonderful things are there for you. And you realize, you know, Dorothy with the red slippers, I had the ability, click, 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 to be home all this time. It's all here for you. It's hilarious for me how I'll laugh at something and all of a sudden the solution is right there, right in front of me, but I couldn't see it before because I was just too pissed or upset or I was just like, oh my God, I can't, I can't keep doing this. And then, <laughs> and then I start to laugh. I laugh at myself. Oh, so new, you're so funny. And then bam, it's right in front of me. And I'm like, were you there the whole time? Yes. If you are habitually playing out an old behavior that makes you feel like crap and you are depressed, and depression is totally legitimate. Depression is a suppression of anger. So after depression, your next step would be to get mad, to get pissed and yell and punch pillows, go to boxing class, go to some kick martial arts thing. Go get it out. Go in your car, yell. I had to yell for years in my car. I had to yell for years. I had to scream. I had to be so pissed for years and years. Get it out, stop suppressing it because that creates depression. And we all go through that. No one doesn't. I was depressed for years. I wanted to kill myself. And I was like, I, I can't kill myself because then I'll have to do this all over again. <laughs> My knowing of the reincarnation is like, oh my God, I'm stuck in my karma. You're not stuck in your karma. I'm here to tell you, you're not stuck in your karma. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's called focus on feeling good. Express your emotions. It's really important to do that. Get it out. Go out and be physical. That'll help you as well. So that's what I have been sharing with a multitude of people, not just my quantum hypnosis clients, but many. So I have a life coaching group on Facebook Live on my business page. Here's my business page. Sonia Wilder at Sonia Wilder Wellness QHHT. This life coaching group is amazing. We meet three evenings a week on Facebook Live for a minimum of 30 minutes, maximum of 60. We haven't gone to 60 yet. Here's the wonderful thing. If you can't make it, you don't have to be on the live stream, the live call. It is recorded and put on the private group wall. And it's there for you whenever you can watch it and listen to it. I do a trans medium channeled message of something that needs to be brought into the group in order to open your perception, raise your consciousness and help you to heal and be more awake. And then after the message comes through, then I give the group a challenge on how to incorporate that as a practice every single day. 
And then the next time we meet, we talk about how we did throughout the week on incorporating that. And we go through some of the different techniques I guide you on how to integrate this practice, whether it's spiritual, mental, emotional, or physical, could be any of the above, into your life to help you to be more conscious, to help you to feel better. And then the last session is a 30-minute question and answer. You ask me questions and I answer them either through a channeled message if I don't know the answer or through my own wisdom and life experience, which is immense and vast. And it doesn't have to be on the topic of that week. It can be on anything that you desire to know the answer to. So we are accepting new members on Monday, February the 4th of 2019. That would be coming up if you're watching this before Monday. If after, we're still accepting new members. We're a wonderful close-knit community and we are ready to expand and grow. We're very supportive there of all of our life experiences and I am there to help you all along the way with everything. I have lived a lot and been through highs and lows and everything in between and I'm happy to guide you. So if that feels and that feels good to you and resonates, then go to my website, soniawilderwellness.com. It's in the description box below and send me a message or you can go to my Facebook business page as I mentioned before, Sonia Wilder at Sonia Wilder Wellness QHHT and send me a private message there as well. So I thank you for your attention and your time. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up that you like it and please subscribe to my channel. We are growing. I love watching the growth. We're growing beautifully and uh, hit the subscribe button. It makes a huge difference. It helps and it connects all of us and then hit the gray bell next to that so that you get notifications. I post at least once a week. And if you want a quantum healing hypnosis session with me, go to my website, the description box below, or soniawilderwellness.com. We'll get you scheduled when it is your time. It will flow for you. It does for everybody. Thank you. I so appreciate all of you. And um, I very much love you so much. Ciao.